Okay, folks, MBS here. I'm going to be talking about the PCV valve system in a Holden 6 or, well, virtually any engine that have got a PCV valve from around about the 1970s onwards. Every vehicle has been fitted with a PCV valve of some sort. What is a PCV? Well, it's a positive crankcase ventilation system, okay? So it's a little contraption that you've got in your tapper cover here. They call that the PCV valve and it rattles. When you shake it, uh, it tells you that at least the parts inside are moving um, and that goes into your tapper cover usually and then goes around to your intake manifold into the centre distribution port of the intake. So whether it's a V8, a six cylinder, it doesn't matter. The PCV valve will always go underneath the carburetor somewhere in the central collection point of the manifold all right and the brake booster obviously gets its vacuum from in a holding six goes over here and into the intake manifold there um, i've seen the pcv valve hooked up to that uh, not a good idea because the uh, ventilation is all going into those two cylinders instead of being distributed evenly through all the rest of them so what does it basically do well it basically takes the fumes out of your motor, yeah? You've got blow-by. Every engine has blow-by. Even when they're new, there'll be a tiny amount of blow-by. That blow-by is a hydrocarbon. It's basically unburned fuel or exhausted fuel. And it'll end up in your engine in the crankcase. So the PCV valve sucks it out and puts it back through your motor to get reburnt. yeah? And that's all it, basically all it does. That's what the positive uh, crankcase ventilation system does. For it to work correctly though, we'll need the right parts in your tapper cover, yeah? The whole reason I'm doing this is because in a future video I'm working on a 350 Chev and the PCV system was just wrong, okay? And I'll explain that to you as we go along. So, if this is going underneath the carburetor and it's got suction on it, then you'd expect that we're going to have suction on the end of this valve. So when you pull this out of your tappet cover and put your finger here while the engine is running, it'll suck your finger up, yeah? It's virtually like a controlled vacuum leak, alright? If you look at it like that. It's always got suction here most of the time, except when you may be under full throttle, where you're losing the vacuum, and you could be close to zero vacuum. The PCV valve, will uh, its efficiency diminishes. It doesn't pull as strong. All right, so when you notice that you pull this out of your engine and the engine changes idle speed, the reason for that is you're now drawing fresh air, so you're likely to lean the engine off a little bit, yeah? Because it's drawing fresh air, not a hydrocarbon from the engine due to combustion processes uh, going past your uh, rings. All right, so when you put it back on, you'll notice the idle speed <coughs> changes again. This affects your mixture. So if your PCV valve isn't working correctly, or this is blocked and it's not got much suction there, or the valve has fallen apart and it's letting more suction go through than it should, it will cause an imbalance in your carburetor mixture at idle and part throttle. Yeah? So this needs to be in reasonably good condition. So if you've never replaced one before, do it. Chuck it out, replace it, even if it rattles, and if you can suck through it, you should not be able to blow through it because uh, it's only a one-way valve. Um, it's one way of testing them. And there is another little tool that you can get. <laughs> Pretty expensive though, so I didn't get one. But you can actually lay it across the oil filler cap and it'll check if your PCV valve system is working right. But if you want to do it manually, and it depends on how much suction this has got because every PCV valve is different, they're designed for the engine as far as being a controlled vacuum leaks per se. Um, it only draws in a certain amount, so each engine would be different. So you have to be careful that you fit the right PCV valve into your uh, motor uh, that is actually the right part number. All right. There are a couple of different types. This being a hot, an old Holden. Now I've got black tape on here to simulate that that's not there, right? Okay, you can't see that bit. It's only got the oil filler entry and the PCV valve entry. All right, uh, that's, we'll talk about that in a minute. That'll be suited for this valve. 
a right angle one that goes into here. All right, that's when that, that hole becomes apparent and why it's there. All right, but this is actually the wrong valve for this cover because it's so tight to get it in there. But that's the early Holden system, the first one that came out. When was that? E.H. Holden was the first, then in 1972 it was mandatory under ADR 27. The earlier models, they just had a, a stick that came out of here and went straight down beside the motor. So all the fumes just went straight out the atmosphere, yeah. So with tighter pollution regulations, they brought out the PCV valve to uh, redraw those fumes back into the motor and reburn them. For this to work, you must have a vented oil filler cap, yeah. This one on Chevy that I'm working on at the moment had this cap on it, which is sealed. All right, so you put that on there and seal it. How's the PCV going to work? It's going to create vacuum or a partial vacuum in your crankcase. All right, depending how well your dipstick seals and how good your front and rear main seals are, etc., etc., will depend what sort of uh, partial vacuum you get in your crankcase all right if the dipstick seals good and your seals are all good you'll get a fairly high vacuum in your motor and when you release your cap you'll hear a <laughs> in your engine when you take that cap off and it may be stuck on there so you may have to actually lift it because it'll be sucked in that would be a bad case scenario and that was the case of this uh, Chevy that I looked at he had he had it all sealed up with the wrong cap all right um, so you've got to be careful of that yeah so the correct cap for this system is a vented cap one like that it's got holes all through it it's vented it can draw air in through here which is filtered through that gauze that's inside that bubble and that would be the correct cap for this system and it would allow the system to work as intended okay vacuum leak here drawing air through here goes through your crank crankcase gets the fumes and everything that is blown past your rings and sucks it up through brings it back into underneath the carburetor now that's basically how a pcv works um, and you've got to remember if you decide to take this off and not run a pcv system and just run this straight out you will upset your carburetor mixtures and you'll have to readjust your carburetor to compensate for that yeah because you're not drawing in the hydrocarbons through here all right so the mixture is going to change on your carbine you can fix that up by simple idle mixture adjustments but at part throttle it may be just a little off because everything is calibrated for that vacuum leak or partial vacuum leak this generally hasn't got a big big suction on it like you if you took your brake booster off and put your finger over the pipe you'd feel a heavy suction there on the PCV valve it isn't quite as strong because it's restricted in that valve in there so you will get back in there but it won't be as strong as full vacuum of the engine so what we call here is an open system yeah PCV valve sucks in gets air through those holes so it's an open system. Dirt can enter in through here. It's, it's not an outrageous thing to say uh, because all that's in there is just gauze. So any fine dust can enter through here. Dust can also enter in through your dipstick if it's not sealed uh, properly or tight. So there's a couple of entry points there where an open system like this can let dirt and dust in to your motor. A sealed system, well, that's a different kettle of fish. Now on this vehicle, if we take this now off and we talk about a sealed system, we now have three holes in the tabber cover. We would no longer use this cap. We would put a sealed cap on, okay? And that would seal. This would remain open and you'd have a tube like that going up into your air cleaner. So it gets its air filtered air from the air cleaner. There'll be a little filter in here. Gener it won't be gauze, it'll be a, a material of some sort. It can still let dirt in because this is on the outside of the air filter. So your snorkel would come out here somewhere, air would enter, go through your air filter and some of it would come through here because the PCV valve, and we'll put the right one in, 
will be drawing air through here, through your crankcase, and that's how the PCV works in a closed system. Now this system is a little bit better than the open system because we do have a little bit better filtration here to uh, bring in fresh air into the engine. Uh, so it's probably a little bit better. And obviously you won't get any uh, leaks coming out of your uh, filler cap when you've got a lot of blow-by. Okay? If you've ever seen those motors, you pull this out and poof! You can see the big cloud of uh, smoke coming out. <laughs> Well, that, uh, the rings are pretty stuffed in that motor, yeah? Uh, so that's one way to um, tell if your engine is actually, uh, or your rings are worn out, is just remove your PCV while it's running and see if smoke's coming out of there. There's a lot of smoke coming out of there, you've got a lot of blow-by, so your rings are just getting worn out. Simple as. Sometimes, um, you will get oil that'll come out of your filler cap, okay? Especially if you've got this one on there and you've got a lot of crankcase and of course this won't be there anymore That's because we've got a, an open system now um, you can get oil coming out of here as I've had in the past um, you might remember the XU one I did a compression variation test on by sound it was leaking right down the tapper cover it had this system on it vented cap PCV no third opening and uh, yeah, PCV couldn't handle the pressure because it, every ring was broken, uh, second ring. And um, so it couldn't handle the amount of fumes. So the fumes started coming out of here and the oil started coming out with it. So uh, good signs that your rings are gone, yeah? So uh, that's basically the systems, guys, how, what they do and how they work. All right. Uh, you definitely do not want to put the wrong cap on. Okay, this Chevrolet that I'm looking at at the moment, yeah, it was, he actually plugged the oil filler up. Um, he had a, a bung in there. So it was totally building up engine vacuum in the crankcase because there was no way it could breathe except through the dipstick, possibly. All right. Now, there are side effects, like I've already mentioned, the um, idle mixture will be upset. The PCV isn't working properly. Um, you'll get uh, oil leak seal distortion. It can suck your um, rear main and uh, front seals in, um, invert the seal, and then you'll end up with oil leaks. Um, you might, well, we've already talked idle issues. We've got condensation, sludge, and contamination that, that could possibly happen without the air purging the acidic um, blow-by. The blow-by is very acidic. If it can't purge it out, it just ends up in your oil, sludges, and, and sludges up much quicker and contaminates your oil. So uh, you have to end up doing uh, more frequent oil changes if your PCV isn't working right. All right. Um, now that's basically it, guys, uh, for PCV operation. Um, I don't think I can cover any more. It's very, very simple. Just make sure that uh, you've got the correct setup on your cap. Being a V8, if you had a V8, you obviously one tapered cover would have the PCV valve in it. The other cover would be your oil filler. And then you may have a, a second hole in one of the covers for this to go up to your air cleaner so it can breathe. That would be a, a closed system with a uh, fully sealed cap. All right. So make sure you've got the right cap on for a start for your system. All right. Two holes. Make sure you've got a breathable. Yeah. If you've got three holes, you can use the sealed system and then that vent it up to your air cleaner. Easy as. But it must work properly. So as I said, if you wanted to, you could test your PCV system. Piece of paper, just hold it over the tablet cover while your engine's running. See if it sucks it in. If it sucks it in hard, something's not right. It's, it shouldn't be doing that. It should be very, very slight, almost barely noticeable. Um, so the paper trick is probably not a bad way, just to have a quick test, see if it's drawing, drawing in. It shouldn't be blowing out. If it's blowing out, <laughs> obviously you've got a lot of blow-by. It, it might blow out if you pull this out at the same time because you're no longer drawing air through. You may get the paper blowing out from blow-by. <laughs> Okay, so you just got to watch out for that and diagnose correctly. 
All right, and uh, that's about it, guy. And of course, if you've got a lot of blow by, you could get a lot of oil in here as well, and you'll get oil going into your engine and it'll be blowing uh, smoke, won't it? Uh, because you've got so much blow by, it's picking up the oil with it and blowing it up into your PCV and down into your engine it goes and uh, you'll start getting smoked at the tailpipe. All right, I don't think I can cover that anymore for you. That's basic operation of a PCV valve and I've listed there some of the things that can go wrong if your PCV isn't working correctly or you've got the wrong caps on and you've sealed it when it, you shouldn't have sealed it, etc. Uh, so there you go. So just watch out for those. But my advice would be if you can find a PCV valve, a new one, because I bet you you've got the original PCV valve in there out of 90% of yours, will probably still have the same PCV valve in it that it had when it was built. So uh, they don't last forever. So they do need replacing occasionally, okay? All right, I think I've covered that one for you. I hope uh, you learned something from that. And uh, yeah, just be careful when you make your connections. Make sure you put the, everything in the right spot, right? Eh? Catch you in another video. Actually, I just thought of something funny when I first got this stuff off my mate. This is what he gave me, the PCV valve with a brake booster ending on it. I <laughs> can imagine that setup. PCV valve in here, over to your brake booster. <laughs> I picture his brakes didn't work too good. Um, I don't know if that was just put in there for fun or he just added the PCV valve to that piece of hose just to give me something to talk about. But uh, that would be a very funny situation if uh, that was the setup. So uh, not only would he not have brakes, he would not have a PCV valve operating. So, uh, and if he would have had a sealed cap on there at the same time without this being there, um, that would have been fun and games. That engine would have run rather well, don't you think? <laughs> Alright, catch you next time.